praise him. This is your man Raleigh Hall and was cooking lemon olive oil cake. Lemon olive oil cake. Have you heard of such a thing? Well, I got the perfectionist behind the pans today. Pastry chef Jen Kim. Welcome her. Woo! Raise the roof, y'all. Praise them. Nice How to be doing? back. Thank you so much. I'm really delighted to be back. We're excited that you're back. <laughs> You always bring that presence of like dessert <laughs> that we like. So let's rock and roll. I've not ever heard of lemon olive oil cake. So. Right. So most of the time olive oil is used for savory cooking, right? Sauteing vegetables and pasta, yep. stuff like that. But olive oil is actually really versatile. There's tons of types, qualities. So for this, you really want to use, try to use a higher quality olive oil, extra virgin, right? Because you're really mm -hmm. going to taste it. There's quite a bit of it in the recipe, which makes it, it's going to be a pretty prominent flavor. So okay. you want to try to try your best to use a good quality. We are using a Greek one. Um, it's, it's an extra virgin and yeah, it's very tasty. Now you don't generally taste olive oil it's actually, in anything. It's got this no flavor taste. No flavor olive uh, oils are usually more like canola. That's usually what you use for baking, right? Vegetable oil, canola. I like to use grapeseed oil. It's very, it's very healthy. Olive oil actually does have a pretty strong flavor if you compare it with other oils. Okay. You know, like those are the more neutral tasting oils, which is why you use it in cakes and cookies. But olive oil does have, like, it's like a grassy, nutty flavor. You know, like there's so many different types. And when you do, do a taste test, you'll even taste the different, like, flavors in the olive oil themselves. Well, I'm ready to get to taste it. All right. Okay, so with this recipe, it's very easy. We are gonna use a machine. We're gonna use the hand blender. If you have a KitchenAid with the whisk attachment, that's great. But you could actually also do this by hand, okay? But of course, this helps, it's, it's faster. So the recipe has, we start with two eggs, okay? Put it into the bowl. And since this is a lemon olive oil cake, we're gonna, you know, zest the lemon. This can also be used with grapefruit, orange, any any zest, any citrus fruit you want. So I'm using this microplane. This is a really good tool to have in your house. And when I zest, this is how I zest. Chefs all zest kind of differently. I, you have to keep turning the, the lemon, okay? Because when, when you get to the white part, it's bitter. So you only want the outside part. Okay, you turn it. And I'm always turning it just so I get the outside. Gotcha. Smells amazing. Always. Yeah. You smell this, right? Yeah, it's smell like, it's like, like amazing. It was something I cleaned my, you know, floors with <laughs> for the bathroom. <laughs> Lemony fresh, you know. <laughs> this really gets like all of the zest, okay? So we have one total cup of sugar, but it's divided into two, okay? You're gonna have two sets of sugar, half cup each. Chef, I'm gonna ask you to start pouring sure. this in once the machine starts going. You got it. Okay. This machine is kind of cool. Yep. So again, you could do this by hand using a whisk. Okay. This is gonna start, so that one stays out for another part. Okay. The next thing you're gonna pour in for me is the olive oil, but okay. I'll tell you when to pour it in. Okay. It's texturing up real good. Yep. Okay, just slowly start pouring. You got it. Now I'm beginning to smell the flavor of this mm -hmm. uh, olive oil. Alright, so this is good. Basically we've emulsified the oil into the, with the, the eggs and the sugar. Mixed it up really well. Okay, so we're done with this. And now the rest of it is done by hand. Okay. This has flour, all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. This is whole milk. So we're gonna fold this alternating, okay? okay? So here's what I'll do here. Put some in here, and then the rest of the sugar also goes in here. So now what we have in here is a quarter pound. Quarter, uh, I'm sorry. One and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, yep. one quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of sugar. Gotcha. Okay, so the reason why this, the, the half a cup of sugar goes in here is because this is such a loose and wet batter. This sugar helps it to not clump when we're mixing it in, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to use this 
pour it into here, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna fold, okay? Got it. Yep. Yep, and just sift it into there. Yep. Okay, and then stop. So I'm gonna start folding this, and then before we add that, the next bit of flour, make sure you mix all the flour before you add the milk, right? So I'm gonna do about half of this milk. I'm gonna fold this in, and then again, you're gonna fold in more dries. You don't wanna over mix it, okay? Just kind of slightly oh, really? fold it, yep. All right, and then one more time, I'm gonna alternate with the milk, make sure this is all mixed in. Okay, yep, perfect. Okay. And then the rest of that can go in, the flour. Now this almost seems like filling, like cake filling. Right. You mean like a like a frosting kind yeah, of? Yeah. Right. Not a frosting, but a filling. You know what I mean? Uh huh. A cake filling that you would put in between. Oh, like pastry cream sort yeah. of. Yeah. Right. Right. It's a very loose batter. It's you know, it's a lot of milk. It's a lot of olive oil. So that's why it's going to be really, really moist. You know, like a butter cake will be a little bit more dry. Okay. But this cake, you're going to see, it's so moist and it's just, it's really delicious. Okay, so you're gonna have some lumps. This happens because it's a very wet batter, right? As long as there aren't too many lumps and they're not too big, they'll bake into the cake. They'll bake out once they're in the batter, into the, in the pan. Okay, so then you're gonna get a pan. Okay. We have one here. Yep. So I have this parchment paper that's cut out perfectly the size of the bottom of the pan. Gotcha. Chef's gonna spray the bottom. Okay, perfect. We're gonna stick this in here. Make sure it fits perfectly. And then he's gonna spray all around, sides and all. Okay, this is a really important step because this is what's gonna help make the cake come loose from the pan. Worst case scenario, you'll just get a spoon and eat it right out of the pan, no problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just dump some ice cream right on top and just eat it straight out. Listen, ice cream is the cure for all things. Yep, exactly. <laughs> It's like eating peanut butter out of the jar, right? Oh my goodness. Yep, and that's all that's set. Cool. We're gonna put it in the oven. <laughs> at oh, about 370, um, let's say, check it in about 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, and then we'll show you what it should look like when it's done. Now we preheat the oven. Uh, it took about maybe 10 minutes yep. to get to that point at 370, and uh, we'll keep our eye on it. Yep, and you'll definitely smell it so you'll know when it's closed by the amazing aroma in your house. <laughs> well, it's gonna fill the place up. I can already sense it. Mm -hmm. um, let's clean this place up, yep. and we'll be right back after these messages. And what's cooking, Chef? Lemon olive oil cake. That's what's cooking. <laughs> Praise them. This Mother's Day, the Hallmarks Music Group presents the highly anticipated R&B gospel artist, Antoine Hilton with his single, How Far We've Come, available on all streaming platforms May 9th. Pastry Chef Jen is here and the place is being lit with the aroma of lemon. Olive oil, sugar. Yeah. Cake. Cake. <laughs> it smells amazing. It's more than amazing. It's going to be delicious. Now we're gonna grab this out of the stove and actually, we'll check on it. Yep. All right, let's do it. Whoa, look at that. Perfect. Yep. Now, I see it's away from the edges, like you had suggested. Yep, comes apart from the edges. We sprayed it, right? And we have a piece of paper underneath. But a great way to check it is always the toothpick trick, right? Yep, and we have one right yep. here. Yep, that's for sure. Chef, you want to try? All right. You Thank want to you put chef. it in, make sure it comes out totally dry. Boom, dry. Yeah, perfect. That's right. And moist as the Mountain Dew. <laughs> well, listen, you had shook it. Yep. You don't, and it like kind of bounced back. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to jiggle because that means you have wet batter. So you, when it's not jiggling, it's good. But also the toothpick trick is the best thing to do. Also, if you have very strong fingers, you could give it a little press and it should bounce back, yep. just like you said, yep. yep. Praise and we are back and we're ready to plate. 
And the thing is, is that this here, it smells so good. So uh, where do we go from here, Chef? Well, Chef, do you know it's May? You know what that means? It's May. My, my god brother's birthday. <laughs> Larry, what's up? My god sister, Tamira. And it's my mom and dad's anniversary, May 9th. And it's my mother-in-law's birthday. And Ashley, to one of our camera crew, production assistants, and head director, I want to say happy birthday to Ashley. <laughs> But what else is made? Forgetting one more really important holiday that we really love to celebrate, Cinco de Mayo. Wow, <laughs> you're right. To all of those who celebrate Cinco de Mayo, we celebrate with you. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So where do we go from here, Chef? So our cake is ready. Um, we're going to serve it with some ice cream. We have pistachio and vanilla, and some we have some cara cara oranges cut into segments, OK? So a lot of restaurants actually serve this cake with ice cream, with whipped cream, lots of different ways. So we're going to serve it, you know, like kind of restaurant style with all the elements that most places like on a completed plate, OK? So again, the cake is very, very moist. Give me your slice here. Thank you. Okay. So, Chef, you want vanilla, right? You know I'm gonna it! Vanilla. I'm going to place some orange segments here. I'll do pistachio. And that's it, ready to go. You got all the components. You got something kind of tart from your orange. You got the sweet cake. You got the soft, creamy, like kind of wet mouth feel of the ice cream. And when you eat it together, it's really, really, really nice. Now you see it. Yep. And soon you won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so, so much, Chef. Thank you so much for having me back. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed you being here. It's that time. My favorite <laughs> part of the show. <laughs> Wash your hands, grab a seat, bless the food, it's time to eat. <laughs> so let's rock this here plate. Get in there. Oh my goodness, and I'm gonna try some of this. Um, now, what kind of orange is this? It's a cara cara orange. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's really sweet, it's really nice. Okay, Ready? let's get at it, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Taste the olive oil. I'm free! It's like liberating! You gotta get this! Listen, quick, easy, and peasy. This is like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. This here is award winning. Let me tell you, Chef, you did your thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Listen, family, I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of O Taste and See theology, because the Lord is good. Put your teeth into this. He shares with Peter at the table, the Lord that is. He says, Peter, do you love me? He says, yes. This is one of the very defining moments to let us know in the word that Jesus loves to eat. He asks Peter again, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And what does Jesus say? Well, feed my sheep. Listen, I hope you're getting this because this is all about love. Isn't cooking? Oh yeah. All about a labor of love. So to you out there, those watching, get loved on by holding fast to these recipes. It's biblical. And this is Raleigh Hall with pastry chef Jen Kim and that's what's cooking. To reserve your copy of the What's Cooking theme song, subscribe, comment, and request on either What's Cooking Facebook or YouTube channels. All rights reserved for Hallmarks Music Incorporated. What's Cooking Kitchenware provided by Fadeaway Apparel. What's Cooking would like to thank the courtesies of Bed Bath & Beyond, Store 467, and the courtesies of Key Food Fresh, Jamaica, Queens.
that the GoPro was still in there. Me too. Oh I my forgot. goodness. I was I oh forgot. My, <laughs> I was freaking I out. Should, you did make me think <gasps> that. I was like, wow. Oh my goodness. Well, it's golden brown, and I'm not taking this sitting down. I'm ready to eat it now. Stand it up. Thank you, Chef. Oh. What's cooking? We dropped this cake right on this pedal. No, mm. What's cooking? We dropped, mm. And we're back. You can see the place is ready to be eaten. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. I saw, I'm sorry. Cake. <laughs> we're ready to eat. We're ready to eat. Um, thank you, Chef. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> All right, let's get at it. Cut. This Mother's Day, the Hallmarks Music Group presents the highly anticipated R&B gospel artist, Antoine Hilton, with his single, How Far We've Come, available on all streaming platforms May 9th.